This is Kyle McDougall, and today we'll be talking about productivity software and how it affects our lives pretty much every day. And we also had our thunder stolen last time. No big deal, guys. Alright, productivity software is anything that helps us become more productive or effective. And it's things such as spreadsheets, word processing, database, and presentation software. And it, it just helps make everything flow smoother. And it's pretty much used by everyone, especially if you want to be work at a business, because they expect people to have like fluency with these things. So everyone uses the same format and things run smoother. Word processing is an easy way to create attractive and effective business documents, as well as an easy way to enter and edit text and check your spelling and grammar. Spreadsheets allow users to analyze numeric and financial data, as well as make charts and graphs like that correspond to that data and actually mean something to the users. Presentation software it is very useful in communicating ideas to like a large group of people because it provides the speaker with a visual aid to guide his presentation as well as the listener so they have something to look at and help understand what the person is talking about. Database software is very, very important because websites depend on databases to deliver important information to the visitors and without them websites wouldn't work as well as they can analyze and track stocks and bonds. Personal information management software is things like Microsoft Outlook and Google Calendar, and these pretty much help people run their lives. They set up to-do lists, manage contacts, and access appointment calendars, and people have become very dependent, and that's why it's become big on cell phones. Um, people can now get their emails and manage their calendars right from their phone, so they always know what they're doing, and they're never alone in their struggle. Rich internet applications are software that's available online, often for free, such as like SkyDrive, where you can access Microsoft like Outlook and or Microsoft Office, and eventually it won't matter if you have like a Mac or PC, just that so you can access the internet. So as Justin said, there's a lot of different kinds of productivity software. So what companies do is they put them together and sell them as a package, in what's called a suite. And most suites usually like a basic suite would include a word processor, a spreadsheet, presentation software and our personal information management software. But uh, some of them, uh, they all, that's basic. Some of them can include uh, database management systems, uh, information management systems, desktop publishing applications, and uh, note-taking software. So for example, note-taking would be OneNote, which is uh, from Microsoft Office. Speaking of which, Microsoft Office is uh, the most common productivity suite. Um, it's used by most, uh, the highest number of people. And I'm sure it's what most of us are familiar with because it's on our computers. Um, uh, although it's the most common, it's not the only one. Other productivity software suites include uh, IBM Lotus Smart Suite, Coral Word Perfect, and uh, Apple iWork. Um, and also, you can access um, productivity software suites through the web. And one of the advantages of that is it's free. So with the other ones, you have to pay you know, a certain amount of money. It's actually pretty expensive. Uh, through things like Zoho, which is the most popular Zoho Office Suite, it's uh, free access. And it has all the productivity software that uh, you would need, spreadsheets, uh, <coughs> presentation software. And also SkyDrive, as Justin said, if you go there, you can access uh, the Microsoft Office productivity software through that because SkyDrive is owned by Microsoft. Um, and finally, uh, uh, next is uh, the effects of productivity software on business. And uh, producti productivity software just overall has a good effect on business. It increases productivity because it's easy to use. Provides a simple format, it's consistent, um, and you know it's just going to help your employees because they're going to be more productive, and uh, like they're going to have that consistency within within the company. And uh, lastly, productivity software in terms of class, this class specifically, information technology. The fact that we're learning it, we're using it. You know, our, our same assignments in Excel just shows that you know it's expected that we're going to know how to use these things as we you know go out in the real world and try to get jobs. So. Productivity software is an important thing to know. Uh, it's used every day.